All right, so in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating some work workload, like workload charts, basically in your table. Now, how some really simple capacity numbers on the team members assigned to projects and tasks. Certain team members are assigned to projects; they're project managers. Certain team members are assigned to tasks, so they're like designers. In this case, this is for a creative production workflow in Airtable, and we're just going to jump right in. So, what we've already created this started to create this dashboard in here, and this really is performance dashboard. I'm going to create another one that has the a new dashboard that has other data. So this one is going to be the utilization. So if I want to come in here and I want to see a bar chart based on this is so I selected projects at first. This is a new page in their table. I want to create on the X axis based on the assigned PM. Fill. So let's say, let's actually just go real quick, confirm that I have a really good project status. So usually I'd pull project status up here to the beginning. I also like to pull project title up to the beginning. So submitted in progress and completed. That looks good. Okay, so if I want to go back in here to the workload chart, X axis is assigned PM, Y axis is going to be, let's go status count or group by status is what I'm looking for. And let's go back into request and fill in some of this information. So workload, I only, for workload, I only care if, about workload, if the status is any of submitted or in progress. And actually just to future proof myself, I'm just gonna say it's not completed, just in case the status were to be empty. So there I can see that if you wanted to show it differently or more advanced, you could have a pivot table. So a pivot table where Instead of priority, I think here, if we chose assign PM, you could see assign PM by status. See the same thing. Okay, so that's for project managers. Kind of want to show a background color on this. Just so it's highlighted a little bit. Now I'm going to do designers. Designers are assigned to tasks. So in here, if I wanted to show a number or another bar chart based on the x-axis being the DRI, the y-axis being grouped by status. So let's say, again, I only care about where it, I want to create a filter where the status is any of, well, is none of completed. And then you can click into these if you want to see the individual tasks assigned to each person. And let's go ahead and show a background color on this. And unfortunately, there's nothing to duplicate it there. So I'm just going to add another one down here that is also going to be tasks for reviewers. So we're going to add another bar chart. Roll instead of DRI, it's going to be reviewer. I don't have anything assigned to anybody here, which is why it's going to show all empty. I'm going to show things in based on the status. Again, where the status is none of completed. All right, so the next thing I think I need in here is I need to start assigning reviewers and create a reviewer interface. So if you're interested in that, click in the video here on the end screen. And I'm going to go into that. This is how you create. These are like the most basic versions of workload charts, not really showing over time. Like looking at this, you'd have to know how long how long is it going to take Avery to do his requests. And that's how I'll estimate when he's going to be available. 
a more advanced version, which I can go into in a different video is showing for this, from this time to this time, he's like at this percentage of workload from this time to this time. That's just a little bit more advanced than I'm going in this video. If you're interested in that, I guess, leave a comment. But if you want to go now see how to create like a reviewer and approval workflow, go check out the video here in the end screen. And I'm going to go into that.